Excelsior Haley Planet Voltroy. This is Black Yank, Free Ranger. Under authority of Galactic FDA, you are hereby ordered to cease operations for my inspection. Well, cock a doo doo. If it ain't my most prized chicken, come home to roost, I do declare. That's right, Xanders. I swore I'd return to shut down your little freak factory. Now it's time to make good on that promise. Oh, yeah. Well, now that's a whole lot of spark for an overgrown feather rain Voltron. Have you forgotten where you come from, boy? I reckon you need to be taught a little lesson in respect. Ah, uh, we're right into that one. Okay. Mayday. Mayday. Yeah, good day. Beat. Yeah, it's down. entry. Clock Yeager. My ship was forced down by some kind of electromagnetic storm generated by Xanders. I don't like that guy. It'll take several days to make repairs. Unfortunately, the ship is on limited auxiliary power, so I've got to keep a close eye on that energy meter and recharge the solar cells during the day. Boy, don't you know, chickens can't fly. <laughs> Smack dab in front of my R&D facility. How fortuitous. You will have to forgive my manners, though, for not pulling out the red carpet in person. You see, I'm currently off site for the grand opening of my newest BFC location. Don't you worry, Club. It looks like you'll be properly greeted soon enough by my, uh, welcoming committee. <laughs> See that little electrical storm I whipped up seems to be playing havoc with the containment system. It's just a matter of time before my young product is running loose, looking for a snack. It looks like I'll have to spend my nights playing Voltroid Pico with the brood of my mutated cousins. I managed to jack into BFC's security system, giving me a good look inside the place remotely. That is some motivations, fried chicken. Howdy, folks. Welcome to my corporate kitchen, where we're always cooking up something new and digit licking tasty for my chain restaurants throughout the galaxy. Unfortunately, we are closed today. Sorry, folks. You can come back and visit us again sometime now, you hear? The infrared sensor is great for spotting Voltroids in the dark and uses less power than the lights. Unfortunately, <laughs> doesn't do squat for discouraging their advance. Hmm. The camera lights seem to stop dead in their tracks. For a little while, anyway. But the lights, cameras, doors, everything drains power. So I've got to conserve as much as possible. If I run out of power before dawn, well then, it's game over. Log entry, Jaeger. I survived the night. Of course I did. Because I'm a survivor. Thank you, Destiny's Child. The Boltroids have retreated, for now. Apparently, they don't like light. I'll have to use the short days to make repairs, which by computer estimates will take seven cycles. Oh, great. I hate prime numbers. I just gotta survive Xander's Boltroids in the next six nights. Jaeger out. Log entry. I survived night two on this freak farm without becoming Boltroid Chow. Repairs are on track with estimates. But that giant-sized egg is starting to worry me. Now I know what BFC really stands for. Big frickin' chicken. Jaeger out. Log entry. I survived night three. Repair status report. I've detected an anomalous frequency modulation in the temporal bearings of the unilateral phase detractors. Yeah, I did all that and I know what all that means. I'll need to compensate for the gravimetric charge imbalance by rerouting through the turbo encapulator. Oh yeah, each night the Poltroids seem to be coming faster and more aggressively. Fun times. Jaeger out. Log entry. Man, 
What was I thinking, rerouting the encabulator without first inverting the phase impulse shifters? But am I a rookie? Hope I didn't completely fry the lift capacitors in the process. I've got to get this bucket of bolts back in commission before Chickzilla pecks it to pieces. It's Jaeger. I'm still here. And that's five nights down. Two to go. But the mutant Boltroids are coming faster now, and more stealthy. I can hardly catch them on camera anymore. But then there's that genetically modified beep Chickzilla stomping around all night. Holy crap. Hey there, it's day six. I managed to reprogram the aft confabulator's injector module. It should compensate for the variance in the neutrino field. But now I've picked up an unwelcome subtarmic oscillation in my biaxial gravimetric manifold. I read all that in a book once and I'm assuming that's exactly what happened. That'll have to wait till tomorrow. That is if I could survive one last night. Bop, bop, bop. Yeager out. Log entry. With my ship restored to nominal status, I'm finally leaving this forsaken planet with giblets intact. I checked. But Xanders is still out there, somewhere. And I still have a bone to pick with that crazed, albeit highly entrepreneurial chicken choker. We will meet again. For now, this is Clack Yeager, Free Ranger, signing off. <laughs>